All right, what's going on, guys? It's Epoxy, and today we're going over all the newly confirmed weapons in Cyberpunk 2077. This is yet another follow-up to my Cyberpunk 2077 all-confirmed weapons video, in which, with all of your insane support, is now my sixth most popular video. And since a ton of you asked me to make a part three following Night City Wire episode two, here we are. If you have not watched the two previous parts in this series, I really suggest you do so. But also know that I'll be making an updated video to merge all of these with the latest information as sort of a celebration for 40,000 subscribers, which we are very close to hitting. However, there are a total of 14 newly revealed weapons, most of which we have detailed information for, as well as a ton of updated info for previously discussed weapons. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Number 1. Malorian Arms 3516, also known as Johnny Silverhand's Weapon of Choice. We saw this weapon in both the Johnny Silverhand scene shown during Night City Wire Episode 2 and in the trunk of the car in the Tools of Destruction trailer. It is referred to as the most powerful personal handgun on the market in Cyberpunk 2020's Black Hand Street Book, in which we learn that Aaron Malur developed this radical new design to the personal specifications of the famous rocker Johnny Silverhand. In quotes, I wanted something that would drop a cyber psychoed fan at 100 paces, no matter how middled up he was. And that price was no object. Malorian's design employs a rare, solid orbital titanium frame, custom dynaporting, and a direct cyber interlink that locks the user's cyber arm in place as the weapon fires. That is, of course, with the required cyber arm, interface plugs, and a smart gun link. So this should be quite the weapon to use in Cyberpunk 2077. Number 2. Arasaka Pistol We get a close look at this new pistol in the first equip cutscene during the Tools of Destruction trailer, in which V is equipping this pistol for the first time, which plays a special animation. We also caught a short glimpse of it in the trunk of the car at the end of the trailer. Surprisingly enough, we actually haven't seen a lot of Arasaka guns in the game. In fact, there is only a handful that we've seen so far. We know these will be among some of the highest tier weapons in the game, as Arasaka is the biggest player in all of Night City. So it should be very interesting to see just how flawlessly their weapons perform. Number 3. New Smart Pistol We only get a short glimpse at this new weapon, and there is no noticeable manufacturer branding on it. It's unclear as to whether this is a new semi-auto pistol, machine pistol. What we do know is that this is a new smart weapon that we haven't seen before, as it doesn't look to match any previously revealed weapon. It's just yet another weapon to throw into the mystery pile. But hey, it's another weapon to add to the ever-growing list of confirmed weapons. Number 4. DR-12 Quasar We unfortunately only got to see this new tech handgun within the tech weapons menu screen, but it is a newly revealed weapon that should be quite unique from the average handgun, not just because it's a tech weapon, but due to its unique design. Number 5. Budget Arms Slotomatic Weapons are a huge part of the world in Cyberpunk 2077, even going as far as offering disposable weapons in your local 24-7. The Budget Arms Slotomatic was confirmed as a weapon in the official PlayStation Magazine issue you that was just released, and it's just a really crappy handgun that can't even be reloaded. You just toss it away after you've used all the ammo and buy another one. These seem to be more for the world building, but will be available in the game. Number 6. Arasaka TKI-20 Shingen This is an all-new smart SMG which was revealed during the Tools of Destruction trailer. It's burst fire and fires micro-guided missiles. However, do keep in mind that just like any other smart weapon, it will require a smart link to unlock the full potential of its targeting system. The Shingen is manufactured by the top tier weapon manufacturer Arasaka, one of the finest weapon manufacturers in all of Night City. Number 7. Arasaka HJSH-18 Masamune Named after the famous Japanese swordsmith, as many of you pointed out in my weapons trailer analysis video, we only got a short snippet of V reloading this rifle, which we can see one of the potential sight modifications available for use with it, looking to be a form of ACOG. We've also caught a glimpse of it using a suppressor and some other modifications in the official PlayStation Magazine issue that just released, and it's yet another new Arasaka weapon to throw into the mix. The diversity in their weapon selection is what gets me truly interested, but them being a top tier manufacturer is just the cherry on top. Number 8. DB4 Palica A smart shotgun that fires a hive of smart guided micro missiles to completely swarm your enemy and leave them filled with holes. This is not a weapon you want to be facing against yourself. Of course, we also got to see a gameplay
gameplay clip of it using tech ammo, more specifically, incinerary rounds. Number 9. Kang Tao L69 Zuo an 8-barrel smart shotgun. And this thing, well, it's got a unique ability to it. In fact, here is a little quote from Pavel during Night City Wire Episode 2. Another shotgun that I absolutely love, it's for a more refined approach, I would say, is a smart shotgun, Kang Tao Zhuo. That thing has 8 barrels, and that means it can track 8 targets independently. Now, killing an entire room was never simpler. So not only can you target eight separate targets to clear a room, you can also target all eight shots on the same enemy to do massive damage. So it's quite a versatile weapon if you ask me. Number 10, Midnight Arms Soar 22. We only got a close look at this weapon in the trunk of the car at the end of the Tools of Destruction trailer, but we learned its name in the Power Weapons category. This is our first confirmed look at a Midnight Arms weapon in Cyberpunk 2077. We know that Midnight Arms is a mid-tier manufacturer in the game, so their weapon should be a bit easier to acquire than that of Era Saka or Kang Tao. So we are bound to see plenty more from them in the future. Number 11, Tsunami Nekomata, a semi-automatic chargeable sniper rifle that fires APDS steel ammunition, giving it the ability to pierce concrete like cardboard. We already know this weapon will be among the best as it is manufactured by Tsunami Arms, which is one of the three top tier weapon manufacturers in Night City. This was also the first gameplay look at a sniper rifle being used in the game. The fact that it took this long to finally see one is just insane. But we know snipers will play a decent role in Cyberpunk 2077 as the old look at the perk menu had an entire category implemented for them. In fact, that leads us into our next weapon. Number 12, Anti-Material Rifle. Well, we don't have an official name for it, I've said it before. It reminds me a lot of the Anti-Material Rifle from Fallout New Vegas. We only got a good look at it in this screenshot, but we also got a bit of a tease for it in the Tools of Destruction trailer, in which we can see the back end of the weapon on the table in V's armory. We can tell just by looking at it that this weapon will pack a punch and might just be capable of taking down some of the toughest enemies in one well-positioned shot. Number 13, Tanto. We caught a glimpse of this being a weapon in the melee weapons menu, and we saw it all throughout the Tools of Destruction trailer. It looks as if this will be quite a common melee weapon in the game. It seems like melee weapons are being fleshed out with variety, which is really nice to see. In fact, that once again leads us to our next weapon. Number 14, Crowbar. Well, you'd come to expect a crowbar being an obvious weapon of choice for anyone desperate enough, it's nice to see it in action in the game. Now, while that's it for all the newly revealed weapons, we should probably go over all the updated info we've gotten on all the previously confirmed weapons from part one and two, because there's a lot. So to start, from part one, the budget arms blunderbuss and Arasaka Ronin HS-8 are now known as the Rostovic DB-2 Sitara. Number 11 from part one, the Militech M31A1 AICW is now known as the Militech M179 Achilles. Number 12 from part one, Unknown Rifle 2 is now known to be manufactured by Nakoda. Number 21 from part one, the Industrial Sledgehammer. Well, we now know that there is indeed going to be a base sledgehammer and this won't just be solely a legendary weapon, as some people had previously speculated. Number one from part two, Katanas. We have now seen them in different forms, such as the more generic Katanas, Thermal Katanas, and what looks like plastic colorful Katanas. There's a lot of variety. Number three from part two, the Budget Arms Shotgun is now known as the Budget Arms Carnage. Number four from part two, Unknown Sniper Rifle is now known as a Smart Sniper Rifle, which we also finally got some gameplay of it being used. Number five from part two, Baseball Bat. We now know they will come in different forms, but it's uncertain as to whether this is modified or another base type. Number six from part two, Police Baton is either now known as Electric Alpha Baton, or there will once again be multiple variants. Number seven from part two, the Tsunami Arms Pistol is now known as the Tsunami Arms N. We even got to see a small glimpse of it with a suppressor. Number 10 from part two, High Tech Assault Rifle is now known as a Nakoda Smart Weapon. Number 11 from part two, Micro Missile Launcher Cyberware is now more generally known as the Projectile Launch System. And lastly, number 14 from part two, Double Barrel Shotguns. 
are now known as separate variants. The Rostovic shotgun is now known to be a power weapon. We have the Rostovic DB2 Sitara and then the base Rostovic double barrel. And those are all the newly confirmed weapons and details that we have learned since part two. There are a few other potentially new weapons that we didn't get a good enough look at to fully confirm. First of which being the RT-46, which we got a small glimpse of in the tech weapons menu. If I were to guess, it looks like it could be a tech revolver, which if that is the case, this is most definitely a new weapon. We saw what could be a new revolver, possibly even the RT-46, in the hands of a thug, and it has quite the colorful paint job. We also saw a Maelstrom member firing what seems to be a tri-shot pistol, which is another potentially new weapon. We even see what could be another assault rifle in the hands of a thug in the background of this clip. There are a lot of these sort of potential weapons, but we don't get a good enough look at them to be able to compare them to already known weapons. Again, these videos are for weapons that are, without a doubt, confirmed to be in the game. But that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe, join the good fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super, greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off. Thank you.